All righty. Well, well, well. I'm actually kind of excited. This is the one of the very first bows to be added in years. I think the last one that we got was, ooh, correct me if I'm wrong, the boom bow, right? I think it was the boom bow, right? And then the, when it came out, it came out like a year after. I could be wrong, though. So correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But it's been forever since we got a bow. And it's nice to actually get a weapon that is decently good for the first time. Now, there's a lot of changes that could happen with this weapon. It's it's literally been out for a day. Freight Train's already, you know, you know, he's talked with Beast and Archer. And, you know, the, he's already, you know, we have communications with them. And, you know, there's not 100% changes. I don't know if they have plan on doing anything. But, um, you know, there's always balance changes with the newer weapons. Because it's a lot easier for them to do. So, it's kind of nice. Um, but... Uh, yeah, Primal Sneak Bow's out, and, uh, Boom Bow was the first bow? Oh, gosh, I think I've got it backwards then. What was the second? I don't even know. Um, gosh, man. Um, but, yeah, the Primal Sneak Bow's out. Super cool bow. Um, I've used it already. Uh, I mean, the way you can actually get it before, um, waiting until reset tomorrow. Well, by the time this is posted, uh, until reset today, you can actually go under the collection book, go under event schematics. Thank you for changing this, Epic, because it was kind of weird that i saw it under base game and you go under you good old um where they at primal weapons oh, wait what the why is it up there oh i guess that's new but yeah you go under primal weapons you can go here and you can research the schematic it's only 100 uh legendary flux and 1500 weapon designs so not too bad and um uh, yeah i don't know um so you can do it that way and then you you know you can get it right away usually you can't do that sometimes they just mess up or they just don't add it right away so you can't you know cover it but us uh, streamers and us content creators love buying it right away so we can test it out and you know show you guys the people that want to wait uh, to buy it um um how it actually works so yeah anyways the perks that we're going to be running today is actually kind of weird i thought about it and i know beast uh because i you know chat was helping me and i was wondering what he was going to do uh so he did a double crit damage uh and then he did a, one of these uh builds that i have but I thought about it. So the reason why I'm going to run double or reload speed and fire rate is because the whole point of this bow is the fact that you're shooting the bow to have the sync effect, which does affliction over time. So, you know, you want to shoot as many clouds as possible and get Hus to walk through it. So rather than waiting and you have to, you know, slow reload and whatnot, I want that extra reload speed rather than the double crit damage. So we're going to be running uh, nature on it. You can actually have multiple perks on these uh, primal weapons now, which is nice besides energy. So it makes sense though. Uh, and then reload speed, damage to afflicted targets. The reason why we're running this is because the cloud actually does affliction damage. And Archer has already tested this and confirmed that the uh, smoke actually does affliction. And it does, you know, damage uh, over time, which is a lot more. Uh, and then we got fire rate and then uh, crit damage and then 30% uh, uh, damage to the targets above 85% health. So the whole point of this one or the six perk is a little scuffed because you're not going to one shot an enemy with the bow. How However, that extra damage that you can get initially is kind of nice against a smasher. Uh, against groups of, groups of enemies. I mean, like the lower husk, you can actually one shot and the extra damage actually does a decent amount of damage. So um, yeah, those are the perks that we're going to be running today. So the loadout, uh, kind of weird. Uh, Stone Fair at the time right now recording does not work in lead, but uh, Freight Train's already confirmed with Archer that it, they're working on it. They're working on a fix. They're trying to fix it. Um, she's supposed to work in lead. I don't know if the stink effect is supposed to splinter off in six, but she just doesn't work in lead. So um, kind of like the powder keg, it does work, but it doesn't actually explode six different directions. Um, it only shoots six in different directions, you know, because of that. So uh, we're going to be running Rabbit Raider Jonesy instead. So that's where the crit damage comes in. He increases your sniper critical damage by 200 to 25 percent. Totally rocking out just because, you know, you know, get extra damage. I like just using totally rocking out on newer weapons just to see, you know, how much, you know, it can pack a punch. We got battle beats, subwafers, but subwafers aren't necessary. I do want to mention this. You can also run fumble, but I want subwafers because I want to see how much damage I can do, you know, you know, with, you know, without being, you know, up close. And plus it's a stink effect. You know, I just want wafers. We got quick scope, which just increases your sniper damage by 17%. Locked and reloaded since we're reloading after every shot. And then we're running Stoneheart Farah in support because apparently she works in support, but not in lead. So very interesting how that works. I'll probably do another video in the future when they do fix it. It'll probably be next update. So hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, usually it takes a few updates, but 
you know, something like this. Hopefully they're on top of it, uh, top of it. But uh, otherwise, yeah, that's a loadout. We're going to be running a ride the lightning mission today. Uh, I have water on mine because this is a, or I have a nature on my bow because it's a water mission. So, you know, plan ahead, make sure that you're running the right perk on yours. You can change it, you know, before you go on a mission or, you know, run a mission, you know, whatnot. Uh, otherwise, yeah, the jump ride in the mission, test out the weapon and see what it can do. Maybe, you know, stink up the place. Alrighty, so we're in the mission and yeah, so the boat takes sniper ammo. I'd have forgot to mention that. So I'm going to shoot this enemy right here. This is this blaster. And now it's going to shoot, hit him in the head, and then it's going to do a little smoke effect. And it's kind of nice because if I have the reload speed on it, wait, oh wait, this one's without the reload speed. Hold up. I had one crafted without the reload speed because my old perks. Okay, let me craft another one. Good thing I favorited. Um, actually did kind of a decent amount of damage to those enemies. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah. So this one is the one with the reload. So as you can see, it's a lot faster and you can spam the smoke, which is why I prefer the reload speed. I think it's just a little bit better because you can spam over and over and over. And I just feel like you do more damage faster, if that makes sense. Unlike where you're relying on a double crit damage and critting. Because the whole weapon, of the um, the whole purpose of this weapon is to crowd clear and clear multiple enemies at a time rather than one shot. Like, you know, like the Xeon bow does have one shot capabilities, but it also pierce. So that's why, like, it's very strong. Um, otherwise, yeah. So I'm going to find a smasher because I do want to kind of like see how much damage we can do with it. Um, otherwise, yeah, let me, let me get back to you whenever, uh, I find a smasher. Uh, thank you IV for finding the smasher, but we found one. Let me kind of sneak up on it. Okay, so... I'm gonna hit it in the head now i noticed there's a tendency for like me missing i don't know if that's the bow or something kind of like the vacuum tube bow where you miss um but i've noticed that i've been doing that uh i don't know if it's me or if it's the bow or not um but yeah as you can see it's not doing a crazy amount of damage i mean like you are capable of doing a little bit amount of damage but that initial six perk it does an insane that's why it's already half health but the affliction is where it kicks in so you kind of just want to spam the smasher and build like kind of like a smoke path uh, around it so it walks through that but it, even then, it doesn't do an insane amount of damage. Uh, like right there, I crit though, which is kind of nice. Um, but do you see these lower enemies, right? I can just build a smoke pile. And then, you know, and over time, it's going to do slowly do damage. Now, I think the affliction damage is around 10,000, um, which is not bad. You know, if you do this in, or shoot it in like a uh, trap tunnel, it does a decent amount of damage. Because, you know, they're all walking through those tunnels. And they're, you know, it's basically like a walking gas trap. That's how I see it. Or like a... A uh, gas trap uh, bow, you know, something like that. Uh, otherwise, I think when I get into the actual defense and we'll see how it goes from there, probably build some trap tunnels to see how it goes. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys uh, whenever the defense starts. Alrighty, so the mission has started. I thought it would be funny to give some of my defenders some of these bows because why not? Um, now we kind of over trapped sort of, but I feel like it's kind of necessary because this is exploding death bomb and, uh, we're kind of in a bad position. This is kind of one of the more weird spawns because if smashers get right here, they can just get in. So yeah, a little, a little rough, but if we kind of just spam our ceiling, a gas trap, a bow, <laughs> it actually does an insane amount of damage over time. Now there is traps right here, but with the reload speed, honestly, it's kind of nice, you know, and then we also have the, uh, I think we're running Ice King in base, Kyle, so we don't have to worry about too much. Um, yeah, so I don't even know. Like, am I just whiffing? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm hitting. So I think someone so far has done 4 million damage. That's the highest they've done. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot to get wafers. Wait. Oh, I'm going to have to get it next defense. Uh, gosh, this is such a bad zone to get wafers. I always forget about it. But you can see it actually doesn't do too bad of a damage. Like, it basically one-shots any husk. And then anything around it actually does a decent amount of damage, which is nice. You know, like, I feel like this... Oh, okay, I'm out of ammo. I feel like this bow is actually good uh, off start. Now, um, I was talking with Archer or I, in VIP, and I was saying how, like, this bow's not bad. The only downside is I feel like the affliction is takes too long. So it basically does a low amount of damage over a longer period of time, which I feel like it should do kind of the opposite. It does a uh, decent amount of damage over a shorter, uh, short amount of time. Because, you know, a smasher charging at you at Mach 7 is a little scary, you know. You want to be able to kill that smasher in a timely manner, not in 30 seconds, you know, after the affliction actually kicks in, you know what I mean? So it's a little scary. I'm going to res right here because, yeah, see, this is the one part that I'm scared of. This Oh, that's not. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, let me edit. Yeah, this is one part I'm scared of because smashers can just get it right in here. So let me, uh, let me actually, what can I do here? Let me just put some more tar pits, slow them down a little bit. Uh, let me put a wall dart right here and here. So if they walk in that ramp, there we go. Put some broadsides down in this corner. So if they drop down, they're dead. Oh, uh, smash your charging. Ah, get out of here. Um, 
So yeah, honestly, not a bad bow. I think it's really good for uh, uh not single target damage, but for a uh, groups of enemies. Like this could be a good bow for like an encampment mission. You know what I mean? Because in an encampment mission, you clear out a lot of en enemies, uh, and you need you know like in a group, and it kind of like hover around you. Um, start of has actually put in work there. You can kind of see it splinters off does a little bit more of that damage And that six perk is nice because I believe the start of air also does increase the damage whenever it splinters off So if I shoot one enemy it splinters off and that initial damage if they're above 85% of health Actually does more damage to the other enemies since start of air splinters off on that Which I'm excited for because running her in lead actually might be a lot better Just due to the fact that you know, you're able to do that. So I um I'm going to go find some uh, wafers real quick. See if I can do a little bit more damage and see how that works. Um, otherwise, yeah, we'll uh, get back into the second defense in a second. <laughs> I almost died. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, okay, I got some wafers. Second defense is started. I'm actually kind of curious to see if this will do any damage on the mini boss. I really don't think it will. I mean, the initial shot, maybe. But uh, like I said, this weapon's really more for crowd clearing. Nothing really else, you know, getting those uh, annoying husk out of the way. I feel like this is such a great bow for secondary. I think I might run like the vacuum tube bow, then this bow, or maybe the Xeon bow and this bow. Because one of these bows are actually really good. Oh, can I just like yeet? Wait, I wonder if... Okay, no, I will. I missed that one. I wonder if... Um, I wonder if I shoot a uh, flinger. Uh, okay, wait, wait, yeah. So it just stays in the air. That's kind of funny. It just, it just stays up there. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very funny. Um, yeah, it's, it's funny. Uh, oh, my gosh. That's just a one-shot uh, taker. Hey, I'll take that. So, yeah. Honestly, not a bad weapon. I think this is probably one of the best weapons that they released without any bugs or glitches. I mean, besides the Star of Farrah glitch. But in reality, I mean, that's more of a hero bug than a weapon bug. Um, but, yeah. Hitting 900,000, not that bad. Oh, it's trap vulnerable. I'm a little sad. I wonder if, like, dude, does this, like, this stink count as, like, a trap? Does this think it's, like, a ceiling gas trap? It probably doesn't. Okay, wait, I'm gonna eat a wafer and shoot this flinger right here. Let's see how much damage I could do if it stops moving. Okay, stop moving, please. Yeah, see, not that bad of a damage. I think I was about um, almost uh, 900,000, a million. Oh, there is so many flingers right there. Or so many. Oh, well, oh my gosh, the sting effect actually just got rid of them. <laughs> so cool. Okay, wait, let me eat another wafer and then shoot uh, this flinger. Okay, 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 a million damage. 200, was that 2 million? Did I just one-shot him? I think that was 2 million, 2.3 million. I could be wrong though, but yeah, that crit damage is kind of nice. Now, it kind of, I kind of, I kind of wonder uh, actually how much more damage I could do with uh, double crit damage. But in reality, like I said earlier, if you don't know, uh, this whole weapon is supposed to be for crowd clearing and, it, you know, the affliction damage over time, the tiny husk, you know, you know, see how much affliction it actually does. It's supposed to do more damage over time or not supposed to but what I'm trying to say is it's supposed to be Meant for multiple enemies, you know, you're supposed to hit multiple enemies and you do that damage, right? Um, not like where it just initially just kills an enemy off, you know, right away. Um, so basically uh, The reload speed is really good with it, you know Rather than running double crit damage because you want to shoot as fast as possible as you can see if I can just spam it in the spawns, you know, they're gonna slowly take damage and they walk through it, you know like, I don't even have to hit an enemy. Um, oh gosh, that was insane. Star of Air actually kind of nice. I kind of wonder, really, really, really wish she worked. Oh, where are we taking damage? It's probably the flingers. We have like a million flingers everywhere. Yeah, it's probably the flingers. Yeah, maybe? Maybe not? Where are they getting in at? That's weird. Unless there's someone close it off already. Oh, wait. I think I know where they're getting in at. It's right here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I think we totally forgot to block this off. Or put anything there. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. So this was actually really good. I'd recommend trying it out. And uh, you can wait until reset today. And then you probably can get it for gold rather than spending a uh, uh, weapon designs and whatnot on it. Um, otherwise, yeah. Nothing really crazy too cool about the bow. But it's nice getting a new bow in the game. And especially a primal stink bow. Like what else could you ask for, you know? I think it's really cool. And I think this is really well balanced. Uh, I don't know if there will be any changes in the future on it. Uh, besides fixing Stone Out Pharaoh working in lead. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know what you think of the Primal Stink Bow. If you have already tried it, yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't, let me know what you think of it and your initial thoughts, if it's going to be good, if they need, you know, if they need to change it, you know, something like that down in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe down below. Like the video. Remember, I'm sponsored right now by Marvel Snap. I'll put that down in the description if you guys want to sign up using my link. Uh, it supports the stream, supports me and my YouTube. So otherwise, you guys have an amazing morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.